Welcome back. I told in the last session, electromagnetic wave is difficult due to two reasons. One is it deals with vectors. Other one is it deals with location. What is that location called? Coordinate system. Okay, it is called coordinate system. Please. The last session we discussed about vector and we discussed about scalar and a vector and a dot product and a cross product. And when a dot product is called a divergence, when a cross product is called a curve. And what is mean by scalar and a vector product is called a gradient. And then we saw some vector identities. I told you, you should remember that. Now, coordinate system. Define coordinate system. It is a method to define location of an object. Please remember, it is a method to define location of an object. I just made a cross. Where is this cross in the board? So if I take this corner as the origin, x-axis, y-axis. Okay. In x-axis, 20 centimeter, y-axis, 10 centimeter, I got the location. Okay. So what do you mean by coordinate system? How to locate a position, how to locate an object. So if I take two axes like this, let us say x, let us say y, and we call it as origin, 0, 0, origin, or in general, let me write origin, it is understood 0, 0. Now, in x-axis, some distance, let us say x dash. In y-axis, some distance, let us say y dash. And this location is nothing but x dash, comma y dash. Okay, this is the general. So, I am having an axis. There is the same location. I would have to define by x-axis and y-axis, but now I don't want to use the axis technique. I am going to use some other technique. This is the reference. With reference to this axis, let us take some angle called theta and let us try to interpret it. So, there is an object who is at an angle of theta and at a distance of r. Okay, this is nothing but representing a location with magnitude and angle. Representing a location with two directions. Okay, So we say x comma y is nothing but rectangular coordinate or angle theta. Please remember, you might have studied this in max. At the same time, in engineering, I will also write r e power j theta, where e power j theta is equal to comma cos theta plus j sin theta. And this is the magnitude, this is the angle, we call it as polar coordinate. And please do recall the relation between x, y and r theta. Okay, There is a beautiful relation which everybody knows. How to find r? It is root of x square plus y square. How to find theta? It is comma tan inverse of y by x. And how to find x and how to find y from cos and sine? Okay, we should write uh, r e power j theta can be written as r cos theta plus j sine theta. And if you multiply r inside r cos theta plus j r sin theta and let me say and this term is nothing but x and this term is nothing but y so we represent as x plus j y now conclusion who is x r cos theta who is y r sin theta who is r x square plus y square who is theta tan inverse of y by x okay now i use two coordinates x y i use the two coordinates r theta so it is called two-dimensional coordinate system. Make note. Now, let us go to three-dimensional plane. Okay. I would like to just say, where is this particular uh, marker pad? Okay. So, if it is a room, if you take a corner, okay, just in the corner, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay. We use three methods, three coordinate systems, or we call it as 
three dimensional coordinates. So we call it as x, y, z. Okay. And we call this as rectangular, okay, rectangular coordinate, which is combination of x, y, z. And you can also call it as Cartesian coordinate system. X, Y, Z. Okay, three dimensions. So, Cartesian is an, if I am having the pen like this, a marker pen like this, what is the procedure? If this is the location, X, Y, Z. Sir, I don't want to use X, Y, Z. Give me some other technique. So, if I say this is the marker, please Cartesian is an, this is the origin. My eyesight is the origin. Turn, turn, the distance. Okay, another technique. Horizontal angle, vertical angle, distance. Okay, so we call it as horizontal angle phi, vertical angle theta. The distance is nothing but r. Okay. We call this as spherical. Spherical coordinate. So please remember your r is nothing but distance. Phi is nothing but horizontal angle. Theta is nothing but vertical angle. You can't interchange. Always try to remember phi is horizontal, theta is vertical. And we can also call it as azimuth angle in engineering. We also call vertical as Elevation angle in engineering. Okay, please recall x, y, z is nothing but axis. So, if there is a pen marker like this, what is the idea I told? X, okay, let me just keep it like this. Okay. X, y, z. What is another technique? Horizontal angle, vertical angle, distance. One more technique is there. Please listen. Horizontal angle phi instead of vertical angle, I can just reduce my height. Okay, which I'm coming down instead of bending the neck, I can also come down. Okay, this is z axis. Okay, phi z r. Okay, it is another technique. What is the technique I told? R phi z. Okay, r is the distance, phi is the horizontal angle, z is the height. Okay, we call this as very good. This you might have studied cylindrical coordinate. Okay. So please try to remember number one Cartesian coordinate or rectangular coordinate, number two cylindrical coordinate, number three spherical coordinate. Your z also comes under the axis. Okay. Please try to make a note of that. It is one of the important concept in three dimensional techniques. Okay. So one is rectangular coordinate, other one is cylindrical coordinate, other one is spherical coordinate. What do you mean by coordinate system? It is a method to represent position of the object. Okay, please try to make note of it. In two-dimensional coordinate system, I gave the relation between rectangular and the polar and even vice versa. Similarly, in three-dimensional also, there are some ready-made formula. You have to just make note of that. In somewhere when you do problem, you may need cylindrical to Cartesian or Cartesian to cylindrical. So from the cylindrical how to get Cartesian, from Cartesian how to get cylindrical. Spherical to Cartesian or Cartesian to spherical. I do have spherical coordinate, how to get Cartesian. I do have Cartesian coordinate, how to get spherical. If you want to know how to convert cylindrical to spherical, very complicated. Cylindrical to spherical, what you should know? First jump from cylindrical to Cartesian, then Cartesian to uh, spherical. That is the way we have to write. Just pause the video and just try to copy it. Seriously, you make it in the notes. Okay. Some general basic mathematics let us discuss. And even from there we will jump to our coordinate system. Still the coordinate system work is pending. Now there is a point here A. There is a point here B. I am asking you. Try to tell the distance between these two points. What did we say? Take a scale. Try to measure. This is the general idea. In case... If the point A to B, if the path is like this, you can't take a scale and measure, you know. You can't take a scale and measure. Because it is a variation. There is a change. Then, what is engineering says, 
take a small length dl it is something like a elemental length dl and try to just move from a to b and add everywhere addition is a mathematical operator if you add one two three four like this it is summation if you try to move in a smooth path it is a integration please try to remember summation is also addition integration is also addition what do you mean by summation addition in discrete domain what do you mean by integration addition in continuous domain i hope these two we might have discussed in digital signal processing addition in discrete addition in continuous so what that i am going to say take elemental length dl a small length something like a scale try to add continuously from a to b the result will be total length please in case if i have same a to b and if the path is like this same dl you have to take starting from same dl try to add from a to b and try to mention how the path is okay it is a parabolic path which is l square in case if you have a to b and if it is just a logarithmic path then it is log l dl integration a to b in case there is a point a and b and if it is a linear line then it is integration l dl a to b so please try to remember these are all some fundamental mathematics which usually we don't think who is this a linear path Who is this log? Logarithmic path. This is parabolic path. Okay, exponential path, sinusoidal path. Okay. In case if a and b is a constant and if it is a straight line like this, then we say integration two d l a to b. But most of the time, what you remember the max, just try to buy that. So two is a constant. Take it outside. Integration of d l l upper limit minus lower limit. So integration of l square l cube by three. You feel great that you know this max. You, this is the basic drawback in engineering. Come on, tell me what is integration of l square dl l cube by three upper limit minus lower limit. That is not the engineering. Integration of l dl l square by two upper limit. But that is not the engineering. What does it say? Dl elemental length, l linear path, integration continuous addition, a starting of the addition, b ending of the addition. Okay. Try to remember all these concepts. My question is, sir, I need total length. Take elemental length d and then integrate. I need total area. Take elemental length, elemental length, because what is area? Length into breadth. Okay, and obviously the result will be a small square. This square is nothing but dl, or I can say dx, or I can say dy. In general, this is called ds surface area. Take elemental surface and integrate in x axis also in y axis also. We call it as integrate twice. If you want a total length, take dl, integrate once. If you want a total area, take elemental area, integrate twice. Integrate once, integrate twice. In case I need a total volume, then you take elemental volume called dv, which is combination of ds, dy, dz. More discussion we see. So I need a total volume. Very good. Then you take elemental volume dv. One is for length. One is for breadth. One is for height. So integrate twice. So what is my conclusion? What do you mean by single integration? Line integration. Length. What do you mean by double integration? Area integration. What do you mean by triple integration? Volume integration. That is the reason 
most of the time in engineering or even in your max you don't go for fourth integration fifth integration maybe in general max you may have not in the applied max please remember it gives you total length result is meter total area result is meter square total volume result is meter cube okay. it's a general statement i just say now my question here is can i rewrite this as integration dx yes your length is with respect to x integration dy length is with respect to y integration dz length is with respect to z what about area sir can i do like this double integration dx dy hello double integration dx dz hello double integration dx uh, sorry uh, dy and dz hello you should know all these things okay now what about you should write here so what is that triple integration dx dy dz yes like this only you should write so dv means it's understood it is triple integration x y z now somewhere when i do derivations i will bring you integration d dot ds equal to q immediately i will ask you some question which product dot product between two of it 200 percent Result is a scalar. So Q is a scalar. It is single or double or triple. Immediately you will say single integration. 100% wrong. Don't see this. See this. What is DS? DS is a area. Length into breadth. Then it is understood it is double integration. Please remember. Sir, you haven't wrote. I won't write. I am engineer. Why you should write? You should know. Please remember. You should know. I always say like this. Integration rho V D V. That's all only I will say. You should say immediately. It is a single, a double, a triple. It is a triple integration. Please remember. See, be serious in this particular calculation. And please try to make a note of this. Okay. With this, let us conclude this video session. And more detailed discussion about x, y, x, z, y, z like this. Can we do in cylindrical and spherical? We can do it. You know, that more detailed discussion. Let us do it in the next video session. Thank you.